गाइस हैप्पी न्यू ईयर मे दिस ईयर ब्रिंग इन गुड हेल्थ वेल्थ एंड सक्सेस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर आई टॉक अबाउट करियर टेक एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी इट्स माय मिशन टू मेक यू एक्वेंटेड विद रियल लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसेस सो दैट यू डोंट हैव टू स्ट्रगल मच एंड लीड स्मूथ एंड फुलफिलिंग करियर दिस इज अ चिल वीडियो वेयर आई विल बी शोइंग यू द मोस्ट प्रॉमिसिंग प्रोडक्टिव हैबिट्स दैट आई हैव इनकल्केटेड एंड व्हिच हैव पॉजिटिवली इन्फ्लुएंस्ड माय करियर आई होप यू विल आल्सो इंप्लीमेंट दीस स्टेप टू बूस्ट योर प्रोडक्टिविटी सो लेट्स डाइव इनटू दिस इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो सो नंबर 1 ऑन माय लिस्ट इज implementing the pomodoro technique i have to mention this habit first as it has been a game changer for me in pomodoro technique you work in chunks like you can work for 25 minutes and take 5 minutes of break for drinking water or looking away from the screen or just for getting refreshed again these 25 minutes is known as pomodoro and after 4 pomodoro that is after 2 hours of work you can take 15 to 20 minutes of long break or else you can work for 45 minutes and take 15 minutes break and repeat the cycle till you complete your task i prefer this second option as i like to focus on a task for a bit longer duration and i feel 25 minutes ends quickly i work for 45 minutes and if i feel the work is interesting then i take only 5 minutes of break to have water or just to get fresh enough or if i feel the work is is not that interesting then i take 15 minutes of break and go to the balcony to breathe some fresh air once 15 minutes break is over i start the second round of pomodoro by working for 45 minutes and 15 minutes of break after that like this i work in three slots and try to complete all my major work using pomodoro technique this technique not only helps me to stay focused but also reminds me to take frequent breaks away from the screen which is essential for our eyes trust me implementing the pomodoro technique rigorously has been a game changer that changed my career and enhanced my life truly number second on my list is reducing the screen time i used to be the person who would scroll mindlessly on social media apps jumping from facebook to instagram and from instagram to linkedin for hours and end up feeling guilty for wasting my time unproductively one day i tracked the time i spent on these apps which were about 3 to 4 hours this made me numb and i realized this destructive habit needs to be changed right away so i started to keep my phone away while working and set the maximum time limit for these social media apps as 10 to 15 minutes once i crossed 10 minutes then i used to get a pop up which ultimately used to remind me to keep my phone away also i already had the habit of not using my phone as soon as i wake up so it wasn't that hard for me to reduce the screen time before i sleep over the time i replaced my mindless scrolling habit which ultimately brought a lot of productivity to my life and also took away the guilt of wasting my time by being unproductive reducing screen time before the bed has improved the quality of my sleep so overall this habit has been a boon for me number 3 on my list of productive habits that changed my career is reading i used to be a reader during school time and i want to get back to the reading same way so reading constantly and learning is my goal for year 2022 as well that's why i try to read at least 4 to 5 pages daily for the last 6 to 7 months i'm easily able to do that because i begin and end my day with reading which i have already shown you in my previous video a day in my life as a software engineer So if you are interested to see my video as remote software engineer then you can watch that video by clicking on the link in the description box below. At times reading gets boring after a long tiring day and with this fast paced world we are constantly losing our patience level with all the short forms of content giving us by kick of dopamine rush. It is a happy hormone which is released in our brain when we receive something pleasurable or a kick of happiness. So to stay grounded we should try to increase our patience level and I feel reading can help us to stay us on track 
as a good book can also give us the same level of dopamine rush that we get after watching a chill and interesting read. Additionally, when I feel I am losing my interest in a book, I start reading another book. Or to trick my mind, I read on the Kindle app on my phone. But wait, after all, we all are humans. There are days where we won't be able to perform certain habits too. And on those days, if I am unable to read entirely, then I don't blame myself and indulge in toxic productivity. Rather, I try to read at least 10 to 15 pages a week, which helps me to stay on track with my reading goals without being hard on myself. In this way, neither am I feeling bad nor I lose track of reading. This is a win-win situation to apply for those who want to start a new habit for themselves. Number fourth on my list of productive habits that changed my career is tracking my work. Tracking myself, that is the time spent on different activities helps me to understand how do I spend my free time and how much time do I spend on non-essential activities, which helps me to switch the time to other essential tasks. To track my work, I use various apps and it allows me to compare initial estimates with how long it took to complete certain tasks. This helps me to make the necessary adjustments for future tasks. I rigorously block my calendar which has helped me a lot as it gives me a fair idea that a particular task needs to be completed in this particular duration. So I get to know if I am taking more than the required time to complete my task or not. In this way, I can analyze and reduce the time spent on a particular task to focus on other tasks as well. Tracking my work has made me productive as well as organized. It helped me to set realistic goals and makes me feel that I have gained a control of my time. It's never too late to start tracking your time. Try it for a while, initially you might feel forgetful, but gradually you will get used to it. Number fifth and the last productive habits that changed my career is journaling and completing my to-do list before sleeping. Journaling has helped me to let out all my thoughts, worries, negativities. Brain dumping everything in my journal allows my thoughts to flow and understand the root cause of my worry which ultimately helps me to come up with solutions or understand if I am overthinking and if there is any actual problem or not. Journaling has also helped me to record my progress by reflecting on past experiences. It has helped me to achieve my goals as writing my goals down helped me to track my intentions better. From the past, Six months, I have started to make my to-do list for the next day before sleeping. This list not only compromises the major tasks but also the minor ones. You might be wondering how am I able to finish the entire to-do list and the secret is I don't make huge to-do list. I just follow SMART method of creating to-do list which stands for specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. So this does not add unnecessary burden on me of unrealistic goals and saves me from demotivation. And if you are stuck in your career, not sure what to do, then you can book a free call with me directly. I'll try my best to resolve your career oriented queries. The link is in the description below. If you liked this video, then you know the drill, right? Like, share and subscribe. And press the bell icon to not miss any videos from my channel, Aditi's Dossier.